Well, hello, boys and girls. It is story time with Teacher Millie. How are we going to say? It's the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. How do you feel today? Are you excited? I'm excited because I've got something to share you. A wonderful story about Jonah and the whale. You see that whale? Where does a whale live? In the ocean. Very good. So now we're going to read the story about Jonah. God picked Jonah for a special cause to go to the city and enforce the laws. Do you know what a law is? A law is something you must obey. Kind of like a rule at your house. When mommy says, clean your room, mommy says, wash the, wash the dishes, mommy says, take off the trash, that's a rule we must follow. God told Jonah he must obey. Obey means you do what you're told to do. Jonah was scared and ran away. <gasps> Sometimes we're scared. What scares you? I know what scares me. Snakes and big, big dogs. They scare me. What scares you? <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. I'm so scared. Me too. He boarded a ship and, we and went to sea. But from the Lord, he could not flee. <gasps> he got on a ship. He said, I'm going to run away from God. God can't find me here. God caused a mighty wind to blow and tossed the ship from to and fro. Look at the ship. The wind is blowing the ship. The frightened sailors began to yell, ah, help me, help me. And into the water, Jonah fell. A giant fish came in sight and it swallowed Jonah with one big bite. Boop. Look at that giant fish. It's a whale. Oh no. In the belly of the fish, Jonah stayed. For forgiveness, he prayed and he prayed. For a long time, three days, he prayed. All night, Jonah was afraid and terrified. Look at that. You see some fish in the whale's mouth, inside the whale's belly? Oh my gosh. God would punish Jonah no more and made a fish spit him out, out of his mouth. Jonah was on the land. Jonah then obeyed God. So you know, we must always obey God, obey our mommies and daddies, 